Good morning, my name is Mrs. Leith. I am, you are here today in my Algebra 1 class here at Deep Run High School. Today we're going to be working on using equations to solve word problems. Yes, you, because they don't divide evenly, you can leave it as a fraction and just reduce, okay? You will get a fraction, I was wrong. Just I leave it this. like this. I got this. Yeah. I'm just confused. And then from here, you can just reduce that fraction, okay. right? For number one, if you get a fraction, that's okay. Yeah. All right? Yep, remember, if, if two numbers don't divide evenly, it's okay to leave it as a fraction. And then, of course, you always want to reduce your fraction if you can. Leave it in fraction form, yep. So when you cross multiply, mm -hmm. you're going to multiply, you're basically distributing the 2 to the 4n and the negative 3. So it's going to become exactly minus. Good. And then same thing the other way, distribute the 4. There you go. And then what goes in the middle? Uh -huh. And now the fractions are gone. Once you cross multiply, the fractions are gone, okay? You're on the right track. Keep going. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looks right. The only thing you lost was you divided by four. And what happens when you divide a negative and a positive? Right. We need one more minute? Yes. Okay, one more minute. Uh, right here. You should be cross multiplying, mm -hmm. not adding. So you're multiplying 2 by this entire expression, 2 mm -hmm. times 4n minus 3, okay? And when you do that, you're going to distribute the 2 to the 4n and the 3. Okay. Make sense? Okay. All right, if you and your partner are both ready, you can check answers with them, compare and see what you have. Okay. Good. Something went wrong. Let's check your work here. So you distributed... Uh, Yep, that's what three off. <laughs> oh. You can go back and fix it. You just have to make this negative, and what's it going to do to these two terms? What's wrong with zero? Is zero not a solution? Zero is a solution. The answer is zero, right? All right, let's get started. Uh, number one, who can help me out with number one? I want an equation. First of all, equation, what does that mean? Equals. Raise your hand, please. Gina. Equals. It means equals, very good. So I know I'm going to have an equal sign in my answer. All right? Now, who can give me my equation? Uh, Rafiq. 2x minus 4 equals 4. Thumbs up if you agree, thumbs down if you disagree. Why, who can tell me why it's not this? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, Maddie? Because whenever it says four less than plus a number or whatever, you always put the minus four. Exactly, very good. That phrase four less than means to take away four. It does not mean four minus. Okay, so the order is super important. When you're subtracting, it, you have to have them in a specific order. You can't switch them up. Okay, all right, let's look at number two. First step. What do I do, Andres? Oh, you're going to cross multiply, so 2 went 4 n minus 3. And that's um, 8 minus um, 6. Very good. Notice how Andres not only multiplied the 2 by the 4 n, but he also multiplied the 2 by 3. So he basically distributed the 2 to the 4n minus 3. Other side, Jacob, help me out. Um, it's 12x plus 
Exactly. Same idea over here. We distribute the 4 to the 3n plus 5. Okay? Now, my next step should be to get my variables together. I could do the constants first, but it's best to start with the variables. Okay? DeMarcus, how? Uh, just how? Very good. Why? Subtracting what? The 8 minus 12. Could I subtract 12 if I wanted to? Yeah. You could. Sure. You can do it either way, right? Um, so then the 8n's cancel. I get negative 6 equal to 4n plus 20. Don't forget about that negative. The 6 is negative, right? Liesl, what next? You subtract 20 from negative 6. Very good. I want to get rid of the constant. I'm trying to isolate the variable. So I subtract 20 from negative 6. I'm going to get negative 26 equals 4n. And AJ, last step. You do 4n divided by negative 26, and that's your fraction. Then you can that uh, to Very good. So we have a fraction here that doesn't divide evenly. And then AJ got negative 13 over 2 for his final answer, because he reduced by dividing by 2. OK? Questions on number 1. On Salma? a test or like a quiz, if you had put it in like a mixed number or decimal, would have been wrong? Um, it would depend on what the direction said. How do you put that into a So if the direction said express your answer as an improper fraction or express your answer as a decimal, you have to make sure you pay attention to how the directions ask for the answer. Okay? If you wanted to make it a mixed number, you would see how many times 2 goes into 13, which is 6, and then how many left over? 1. So it's 6 and a half. Negative 6 and a half. Okay? Any other questions about 1? Demarcus? You have to reduce it. Yep. Good question. Okay. Ready for two? All right. What is my first step? Taylor. Um, you're going to distribute the negative 4 to 2 and 3n. And what does that give me? Um, negative 8 minus 12. Very good. Bring down the other side. All right, what's next? Sarah. You add 12x to minus 8x. Very good. I add 12x to both sides. What else could I have done instead of adding 12x? Gina. Um, you can add 8x. Exactly. So again, you can, you can work with either of the variable terms. It doesn't matter which. It's totally your preference. Um, so we're going to add 12x. I'm going to get negative 8 equals negative 8 plus 4x. Okay? Jay, what's next? Good. And Jay, what happens when I do that? Equals? Uh-oh, no solution, right? There is a solution. I can keep going. I'm not done, right? Jeremy, tell me what to do now. Just 4. Right? Because I just want to cancel the 4. And what's the answer, Jeremy? Zero. zero. Is zero a number? Yes. Sure. Zero is a solution. So don't think when you get zero that that means that there's no solution or that it's all real numbers. Zero is a solution. Zero counts as a number. Okay? Any questions about those two problems? Number three actually came off of your quiz from Tuesday. And that was a common one. I got a lot of people putting no solution for that one. So I wanted to make sure we talked about it. Okay? All right, we're going to do something a little different today to go over our homework. We're going to actually play Kahoot to check our homework. So take out a device. You have your homework answers in front of you. I'm going to put up problem number one, and you're just going to basically plug in your answer. Okay? Are you, are so it's really just a test of who has the fastest fingers, kind of, um, and who, who also has the right answers. Now keep in mind, they're gonna, I'm going to put them up as multiple choice. AJ, turn around. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm putting them up as multiple choice. If you don't see your answer as a choice, that obviously means you did something wrong. So you just got to do your best to pick what you think is correct. You're just going to have to do what you can do. All right, here we go. Here comes number one. Oh. 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 All right, let's talk about
about number one real quick because we've got a few that got this one wrong. So I need your attention up here, please. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, for number one, I'm going to plug in, in place of x, I'm going to plug in negative 4. In place of y, I plug in 3 fourths. And in place of p, I plug in 144, right? Okay, where do I start here? What's my first step in number one? Salma. Um, negative 4 is equal to power. Right, so that's going to give me negative 64. What else can I also do in my first step in addition to that exponent? Sarah? You can do the square root of the 144. Exactly, I can solve the square root because remember radicals and exponents um, are done in the same steps. So that's going to give me 12. Okay, what do I do from here? Andres? Um, multiply, no, multiply. Good, so this is going to give me negative 320 minus negative 18 plus 12, okay? And then when you add and subtract, you have to go left to right. So make sure you subtract next and then add. That's the key. You've got to go left to right, okay? Uh, no, I got answer right. out there. I got a bad feeling if the answer's not there, right? You're like, oh, no. Okay, 15, very good. Nice job on that one. Notice on this one, because the 5x and the minus 3x were on the same side of the equal sign, did I have to add 3x to both? No, they're on the same side of the equal sign, right Rafiq? So I'm just doing 5x minus 3x, which is 2x. When they're on the same side, you just simply combine them. No inverse is needed. All right, number seven. <laughs> Wait, don't click too fast. Oh, you already cut the negative. Let us go. Oh, positive 17. Okay, I want to go over this one. All right. First step here. What's the first step? Dahlia. Very good. And what do I get when I do that, Dahlia? And what else? Very good. Minus 6 equals negative 40. Okay? Notice it becomes minus 6 because negative 2 and positive 3 makes negative 6. From here, I add 6 to both sides. And then you divide by negative 2. Okay? So it's going to be positive 17. <laughs> All right, 2x plus 5 equals 14. Very good. 2x plus 5 equals 14. All right, nice job, top five. Thank you for joining us here today at Deep Run High School. I hope you enjoyed our review of homework using Kahoot. Go Deep Run!